The small designers, they bring a, so, a special touch in the way that they manufacture their products. Usually this involves high-end design, high-end workmanship, special fabrics, because it's usually custom-made garments that are made for a specific clientele or to target a particular market. And the designers are very important for the other one that really provide the mood, the trend for the local market. But more important, it is very often used to promote the image of Haiti. The Levé project consulted the plan de la planification, and from this plan, we selected three of the main sectors capable of uh, propelling the economy of Haiti and creating the most uh, jobs, which are apparel textiles, agro-industry, and construction. Before developing the plan of action, we made a full assessment of the apparel textile sector. This assessment gave us who were the actors and who were the leaders that would be capable to really move forward with the sector. We came with two different value chains. Which are, on the one hand, the mass production manufacturers who mostly target the export market. And we work also with the small designers, which comprises designers, fashion artists, and artisans. The designers also have a potential on the export market as well, either through fashion boutiques, uh, depending on the line of product that they make. Many of them are also working with other smaller workshops uh, in Port-au-Prince or in other regions. So there's also a social aspect to what they do, whether it's to provide jobs or they're involved in community-based activities that help the society. We work around the concept of lead firm. So lead firm are defined as not so much uh, their size, but their capacity to grow and the quality of the product that they have and the potential that they have also to, to other markets or to grow in Haiti. So those are the qualities that we look at. Je m'appelle Paula Coles et je suis présidente et cofondatrice de DOT, Design Organization and Training, cofondée avec le designer américain et international Donna Karen. À DOT, on travaille dans le textile aussi bien que dans le cuir, mais aussi la roche, la corne, le papier mâché, le fer. Chacun peut venir et utiliser l'espace ou utiliser des machines. Et DOT connecte les artisans à des designers internationaux. Hi everyone, my name is Christelle Dominique and I am the artistic director of, and co-founder of Mijan Couture. My name is Gerard Beaubourg. I am Mejan Couture's co-founder and administrator. Mejan Couture specializes in evening wear, bridal wear, and pageant gowns. And that's how we started actually making pageant gowns. And little by little, we dived into different areas such as bridal and evening. And we now also make menswear. Je suis Charlotte Tanis et je suis étudiée en fashion design. Je suis une entreprise qui est en SAS qui travaille dans le domaine de mode. Ils sont ateliers de couture, nous travaillons sur mesure et aussi nous faisons production en masse. Tant que uniforme pour l'entreprise et uniforme d'école. Sandra, Sandra Rousseau. Je suis un artiste. Je peins en textile. Je have Sandy Lou, qui est une production d'art en textile. We do work uh, from what the customer wants. So it can turn into a cushion cover, it can turn into a duffel bag, into a top or a skirt, anything that is required. My name is Debbie Corey, and my organization is Women of Malo Entrepreneurial Network. Women of Malo is an organization that tries to help women set up their own cottage style industry, mostly in sewing. So we started making pot holders and oven mitts, and we now make makeup bags, we make dolls, we make trivets, we're making Christmas stockings. 
people who come to work here, you know, we have visiting doctors and nurses and engineers. They're really a great market for us. We created Simbi after the earthquake. We wanted to think of something that we could raise money for water filtration in Haiti after the earthquake. We both came up with an idea, which was our hair bands. We put some beautiful Haitian designs on there. People went crazy for it. And from since then, we've been using it to promote Haiti and uh, water filtration in Haiti. We are mostly resort wear. We do have like heavier jackets. We don't have many seasons, like if we were in another country, but we do have like summer, spring, and we do have fall and winter. We are on some cruise lines, in many boutiques around the United States. Women of Milo provides access to market, product development, so therefore what is in demand in the market is what they are producing. Then they form leaders from different communities We've uh, identified what we, I would I call a co-op leader, and I help her build her co-op with other co-op members. We give them everything they need. We give them the table, the sewing machines, the chairs, anything that they need to start their business. And these leaders return to the community, train women who can work out of their own houses so they can take care of their children and make sure the children are being followed while they are working and earning money. They sew everything with themselves in their group at home and then they bring it back here and they're paid by the piece. We have women as far out as Ganaive. We have a group of about 40 out there. We have, you know, 20 to 30 in Milo. We have a few more here in Cap. So it is a concept that really we should replicate in other aspects in other sector. things here in the uh, atelier. We send out pieces of fabric to be embroidered in La Vallée du Jacmel, which is about two hours from here. We have about 20 to 30 embroiders working with us. Those women are known for the quality of the embroidery. It's a very long tradition. We also have accessories that we do here. We either make it here or we have other businesses that we work with that manufacture for us. We probably have over 300 people working on our products. When it comes to challenges, we had a lot of challenge that we had to overcome. Going to sell our product. Le financement des machines, c'est niveau employé. Administration organization, back office management. Most of the small designers and small stitchers, you will find with all of them, the back office is very important. So it's one challenge that they have. So many of the small designers were in lack of understanding of financial management and taxes in general and therefore we were able to provide them with a series of workshops slash trainings for themselves and their accountants. And those two trainings were one on financial management for non-financial managers and the other was on fiscal and labor code, specifically referring to Haiti. They showed my husband, not me, eh, uh, how to have a proper accounting system en forme comptabilité et rapport journalier pour connaître comment dépenser comment entrer and we have been able to move ahead the other thing is the training aspect because they had to train in order to develop the skills of the worker to be able to produce what is in demand on the international market dans toutes les disciplines il faut, il faut reprendre le savoir-faire qui existe ça se perd toujours c'est normal heureusement d'autres collaborent avec le projet USAID des levées, on a réussi à financer à DOT d'un directeur créatif et manager de production. Moi, j'ai présenté un projet par USAID des levées qui était un programme de formation pour 50 tailleurs. Moi, j'ai pensé que si moi, j'ai des formations gratuites à Monsaio pour essayer de compléter ça ou gagner, le domaine et continuer à améliorer et moi-même, je me compenser tout et carence que moi, j'ai gagné, non 
chercher les employés qui ont technique de couture. Uh, the challenges that they mentioned was mostly centered around equipment. Finding the right machines, the base of fabric to start, we were buying fabric at a very high price because we were buying on such small quantities. And uh, USA Levé really made the difference. First of all, um, with the material. We had uh, machines uh, provided, we had um, a stock of paint and uh, fabric. Grâce à, au projet USAID Levé, j'ai acheté des machines pour apporter soit une meilleure finition au produit, soit une meilleure productivité dans la production qui accélère la, la préparation de la matière première. Levé, tes banaux accès pour nous gagner en génératrice de 20 kW avec tout inverteur batterie de façon pour nous fonctionner pour nous pas un problème, coupure d'électricité, etc. Before we used to cut 200 of each one of these colorways. We now cut 2500 of each one and the, the extra funds from USA Ideas has allowed us to do that. And uh, also they wanted to penetrate uh, international markets. Our first customer base was really the Haitian crowd with the Haitian market, which is very seasonal as you probably know. The sales dry season extends quite lengthily. So one of our goals was to actually extend our market and have more customers, which would include obviously the American market, maybe the Canadian market. And that usually involves a very high budget. We went to Levé for assistance to USAID and they were helping us with funding for our sales uh, to go to shows, to go to trade shows, to show our things, and it made a huge difference. Levé helped them cover the cost of attending these trade shows. Um, these events usually require a lot of expenses, not only in, in travel, but also setting up uh, the booths. Uh, you have uh, registration costs that are pretty high and also the cost of preparing a collection to attend the trade shows. So we help them offset some of these costs because for a small company that can be significant. We were able, thanks to them, to participate in two trade shows this year, one being in Atlanta, it's called VOW, it's their bridal market. And the one in New York is the International Bridal Expo. We did provide Simbi with some technical assistance for sales. Uh, we helped them hire a sales uh, representative to push their products and help them be more attractive by the potential clientele in the United States. This consultant got us into a few shows. Uh, the Magic Show in Las Vegas it was wonderful and we've got many, many clients from there. Levis Intervention had a very positive uh, impact and uh, eliminated a lot of cost because with the technology that we help them acquire, they, are, they can control their production much better and they can control the sales that they are having. The shows helped us increase our sales, so we were able to be accessed more all over the country. And that just opened doors for us. Once we increased our sales, we had to produce much more often, so we had to hire more people. The people that we work with hired extra people. Our participation in the Atlanta show was a great turnout for us. We ended up having boutiques, picked up our line, um, boutiques, two boutiques in Florida, two boutiques in Alabama, one boutique in Maryland. For New York, our line got picked up by a South Korean boutique. The machines helped a lot. I've been able to add uh, another worker. On a vu une augmentation des commandes. Des clients qui sont satisfaits qui replacent une autre commande. On est plus rapide à répondre au délai de livraison. Avec formation que nous baye, monde que nous gagne, yo, yo vinn pi efficace et puis y aller pi rapide. Et puis avec génératrice que nous gagne, nous ka di que nous allé 30% en plus de ça que nous t'ai gagné avant. Certainly with ramping up production, which has allowed us to hire more women, and so that extra money allows us to now provide medical care for our women and a few other things that we wouldn't have had the money to do otherwise. It's made a big difference in the lives of a lot of the women that we work with. A designer is not only in sewing, but in creativity. 
designers express constantly the culture of our country, the culture of Haiti. The designers have this capacity to work together and link with other companies to enhance the quality of the products. So we see that with all of them and the ability that they have also to penetrate the international markets is becoming stronger and stronger. People here have an eye for art and when there is training they do produce the most exquisite work. We just need the training. So I think there is a lot of potential here.